Beloved, before we talk to men and women about God, it's always appropriate to first talk to God about men and women. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we call on your high and exalted name once again, thanking and praising you for another day, another year, and another decade. We thank you so much for your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards us. We pray, O oh God, and we petition you at this hour to open our ears so we can hear what you want us to hear. Please open our eyes that we might see what you want us to see. And please open our minds that we might learn what you want us to learn. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are our strength and you are our redeemer. Beloved, greetings and salutations to my church family, to my Facebook family, to my YouTube family. Welcome to another edition of Moments with the Master. Moments with the Master was uniquely designed with you in mind. To come to you each and every Monday to begin your week and each and every Friday to end your week. To help you, to encourage you, to admonish you to take time out of your busy schedule to spend a moment with the master. By number one, looking at the word, learning from the word, by leaning on the word and living by the word. Beloved, from my limited post of observation, I believe with all of my heart that one of the most frightful fears you will ever encounter in this life is the frightful fear of the future, the frightful fear of the future. While we fear for the future for so many reasons and in so many ways, Number one, we fear for the future of our families. We fear for the future of our friends. We fear for the future of our finances. Why we even fear for the future of our fitness, our physical fitness. All too often, we're wondering if 2021 is the year that we contract some dreadful disease or is 2021 the year that we will have to face the loss of a loved one? Frightful fears of the future is normal. It's because of the unknown and because of that which is uncontrollable. Did you hear what I just said? Because of stuff we don't know, because of stuff we can't control, the future becomes so very frightful. Beloved, there is nothing quite like the frightful fear that comes when we consider, we consider the future. The future can become quite frightful because of two tremendous truths, because of two fundamental factors. Number one, the unknown, Number two, the uncontrollable. There, is, there are things we just don't know about the future. There are things that we cannot control in the future. That should drive us to the realization, beloved, that we must learn to trust God even more. Why? Because God knows what we don't know. God can control what we can't control. And that's why we should put our trust, we should put our confidence, we should put our faith 
in Almighty God because he knows what we don't know and he can control and he can do what we can not do. I may not know about tomorrow, but I do know a God who knows all about me and knows all about my future. But the future, and the point I'm trying to make here, beloved, is that the future can be so frightful. It can fill us with fear because of things we don't know and because of things we cannot control. And if that's not enough, in the shadows of our challenge to daily living stands COVID-19. COVID-19 is standing in the shadows, this epidemic that has now gone pandemic. And we live in a very unique time, a very unique time. This is a very unique time in which we live. I know many of us feel as though our life is on hold. We feel as though our lives are in limbo. We feel like we're stuck in a temporary situation that really feels permanent. I stopped by today to tell you that this is the time that we need to consider the cure for anxiety, the cure for worry, the cure for our, the cure for our fears and phobias, if you will, especially when it comes to the future, when it comes to the future. Many of us have put our plans on hold all because we feel stuck in a temporary situation that really feels permanent. Our lives are in limbo. We, we're stuck, if you will. So we haven't man, made plans, any major plans. And the only plans that we've made is to make it through COVID-19, to make it through this epidemic that's gone pandemic. But beloved, as this pandemic stretches on, I don't want us to waste the days. I don't want you to waste <clears throat> your weeks. I don't want you to waste your months doing nothing, standing still. Because the God we serve, his purposes, his word, his will, his way of doing things always requires us to move forward. Yeah, there's no standing still with God. God is always urging us forward. He's always pushing us forward. He always desires for us to go forward. There is no standing still. And you and I can afford to waste the days, to waste the weeks, to waste the months that God has given us by standing still and doing nothing because of our fears and because of our phobias. There are many things about this pandemic, beloved, that's out of our control. But when I stop and look at it, in light of God's word, there, are, there is much that is under our control. Yeah. It, there's much under our control. I know that there's a lot about this pandemic that we can't control, but there is there's much that we can control in regard to our futuristic look at the future, at our futuristic look at the future. I see my time is getting away from me, but I just want to share this with you. Listen to it. Listen to Pastor. Listen to me very, very carefully. This may be one of the most important messages that I share with the people of God because it has to do with that which we don't know and much to do with that which we cannot control. I'm so glad that God in his infinite wisdom didn't throw the future at us all at one time. I thank God for that. 
Reason being that if God threw our future all at, at us all at one time, life would really become unmanageable and overwhelming if we had to deal with our future all at one time. But God, in his infinite wisdom, that's why God only requires us, here it is, here's the sacred secret to futuristic fears. Here's the sacred secret of our fears of the future. Learn to live one day at a time. That's all God promised us. One day at a time. Stop trying to live your life weeks at a time, months at a time, even years at a time. Live, learn to live life one day at a time. Learn to ask God, to discipline yourself, to ask God for one day at a time. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us the strength for this day. Give us the ability to make it through this day. Learn, beloved, to take one day at a time. The second antidote to futuristic phobias and fears is not only that we learn to live one day at a time, but the, the second uh, antidote is plan for tomorrow, but live in today. Did you hear what I just said? Go ahead. It's okay, even in the midst of a pandemic, to make plans. Just make sure that God has some input in those plans. Don't you dare ask God to come on board at the crash landing when you didn't have sense enough to ask him to get on board at takeoff. Yeah, you must allow God to be a part of your plans to see if your plans match up with his plan for the rest of your life. You must be mindful of the fact that you can plan for tomorrow, but never live in tomorrow. Always plan for tomorrow, but always live in your today. Live in your today. Last but not least, thirdly, beloved, is do your best and leave the rest to God. Do your best and trust God for the rest. If you pray, if you are prayerful, if you invite God into your affairs, if you live one day at a time, if you make plans for tomorrow and live in your todays, do your best and trust God for the rest. And I declare you will be successful in your 2021s, your 2022s, or as many days as God will give you. Can I challenge you before we leave you? Can I challenge you, listening audience? Can I challenge you, child of God, to set aside, promise me you'll do this, set aside one hour in the coming days. Don't wait too long, but in the coming days, just set aside one solid hour, you and God, just set aside one hour in the coming days to prayerfully plan your 2021. Tell God the plans that you have for your life. Share with God the things you would like to see him change, the things you would like him to help you accomplish in your life the growth you like to see in your life. Take one hour in the coming days to set aside you time for you and God to spend a moment with the master and ask him prayerfully how you should go about your 2021. That's what the elders and I are going to do for Harvey. We're gonna prayerfully plan our 2021 schedule 
and we're going to put it in the hands of God to help us be successful in the coming days and in the coming years. I see that my time is far spent. I pray that this installment is helpful to you, even as we deal with our futuristic phobias and fears and our fears of the future. We need not fear the future because we serve a God who holds the future in the palm of his hands. I see that my time is far spent. It's far better to have God and not need him than to need God and not have him. If you walk with God, my God will walk with you. God bless. Happy New Year till we meet again.